Hello everyone, welcome to the fall 2024 product update for Cisco Cloud Managed Switching. I'm Tamandi Pramana, product manager on the Cloud Switching PM team, and I'm excited to walk you through the key updates and innovations we have been working on. In today's session, I'll cover four main topics, starting with an update on the Cloud Native iOS XE launch, latest updates on CS17 and MS17 firmware, and recent dashboard feature promotions. So let's dive in. Our first update is on the evolution of the software architecture for cloud-managed catalyst switches. Introducing Cloud Native iOS XE. With the release of iOS XE 17.15.1, we are transitioning from a container-based architecture to native iOS XE with support for Meraki cloud management. This enables faster boot times, quicker initialization for stacks, and paves the way for next generation of capabilities. I do want to mention some of the key features coming in this release, starting with the ability to run CLI show commands directly from the Meraki dashboard. Intelligent packet captures for in-depth network insights and support for cloud management on C9200L switches for the first time ever. This marks a major milestone in simplifying and enhancing the cloud management experience for Catalyst switches. So how do you get to try this out? For cloud-managed C9300 and MS390s running CS16 or CS17 firmware, simply upgrade to iOS XE release using the firmware upgrades page on the Meraki dashboard. For C9300 and C9200L switches that are currently in DNA management mode, you will need to perform the migration process to onboard the switches to Meraki dashboard. You can also scan the QR code on the slide for details on all of the supported models, step-by-step -step guide for upgrade and migration process, and all the additional details. We would love to hear your feedback as you explore these new capabilities. Let's now jump in into a very exciting demo for Show CLI, a secure proxied command line interface access through dashboard. Here you can see I have a C9200L switch that is running cloud native iOS XE firmware on the Meraki dashboard. Let's look at its configuration on the dashboard and then explore uh, the show command terminal. As you can see, two of the switch port uplinks are part of an aggregation group, and this switch also has an upstream device connected to it, which is a C9300X-12Y model. Now let's check the same information from the CLI terminal. There are two ways for you to access a terminal. One is via the left static panel where you can hit launch terminal, or you can go to the tools tab to launch the same terminal. Let's go ahead and launch the terminal and run a couple of commands to see how all of this works. Let's start by running the show ether channel summary command. And as you can see, once you issue the command, you will see it pulling up the output for the show command. And it sh you should expect to see two ports on the switch being part of one aggregation group that's configured. Uh, so that looks right. Yes, there's one aggregation group and there are two ports that are part of it. Awesome. Okay, now let's issue the show CDP neighbors to check the directly connected neighbors to the switch. And once you issue this, you should expect to see uh, the C9300X-12Y model should show up as a neighbor, which it does. And it's connected to both of the ports as they're part of the same ether channel. Okay, makes sense. Awesome. Okay, so once you're done with it, you can also hit like close terminal and come out of the CLI window. Um, as you can see, this is going to be a very powerful tool for administrators uh, to combine the depth of CLI with the ease of cloud dashboard. And it will not only provide you, you know, access to detailed information, but it'll also help you enhance your troubleshooting experience. With that, let's switch gears and let's talk about CS17 firmware. CS17 is now officially promoted to general availability. Um, and CS17, as you can see from the slide, has been a cornerstone release delivering enhancements in security, visibility, serviceability, and sustainability. But it's not just that. There has been a lot of work going into adding quality improvements into CS17, such as improved boot up process, enhanced firmware upgrade experience, and there are 
many more additional improvements that have been uh, already launched or on are in progress. So stay tuned for more updates to come. With that, we now move on to a quick look at the MS firmware updates. MS17 is now in RC. Here is a list of all the features and improvements that are coming in as part of MS17. To learn more about each of these features, I would suggest you to check out the spring update video we shared some time back that has all the details about uh, all the features listed here. But one thing I do want to share as part of this update is in regards to adaptive policy. So the adaptive policy support was extended to MS130X and R models as part of MS17, and it's currently in early access. Uh, so this feature is going to remain in early access until 30 days after MS17 goes GA at which point it will be removed from the early access and you will require an advanced license to use uh, this feature on the MS-130 platforms. So keep an eye on it and make sure you have up-to-date licensing if this is a feature you want to continue to use on the MS-130s. Last but not the least, we have two dashboard feature promotion updates. Uh, the auto stacking feature and the new and improved switch settings page have now been promoted to GA. So check these out if you haven't already. And with that, we wrap up today's update, but I want to encourage you to join the Meraki community by scanning the QR code here to make sure you stay up to date on the latest announcements, share your feedback and connect with fellow users. With that, happy fall and happy Thanksgiving. And thank you so much for your time. We look forward to hearing from you in the community.